Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's Dyson Air App tutorial, I am gonna be showing you how to refresh your hair post hair wash. Okay, so it's actually been a full seven days since I have last washed my hair and actually styled it. I haven't styled it since the day that I washed it. And guys, I have to say, I'm so impressed with how non-greasy my hair looks. I haven't used any dry shampoo in it, any product to keep it looking this fresh. This is just how fresh it's looking. A few years ago, I spent months training my hair to get it to not have to wash it every other day because that's what I was doing. And I do have my hair wash course coming out very soon. I will have a link in the description if you wanna sign up to the mailing list to be the first to hear about it. But in the meantime, I thought that it would be great to do this Dyson Air App tutorial because it has been highly requested. You guys wanna know how to refresh your hair post hair wash after a few days of it maybe being a little bit dirty, a little bit greasy. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So the first step is we're gonna prep our hair before we style it with the Dyson Air App. And this is a very, very important step. This is going to really enhance the look and make it look like fresh hair. And if you do have quite greasy hair by this stage, maybe you're just a few days in and your hair is quite greasy, I'm gonna tailor the products and this hairstyle around your hair being slightly more greasy than what mine is right now. So, like I said, up to this point, I haven't been using any product in my hair. Oh. Ugh. This was not part of the plan. Oh my goodness. That is brutal. Okay, right, so this is what the hair looks like down. Okay, and whenever I styled my hair seven days ago, I use the Dyson Air App Smoothing Brushes, so I had it straight. And guys, like I said, I haven't topped this up since a week ago, and look how straight it looks. And if you've watched my videos before, you know that I have serious Hagrid, bushy, curly, frizzy, weavy hair. It is not naturally this straight. So if I can get my hair to stay this straight for seven days using the Dyson Air app, you can too. And I actually have a great module in my Dyson Air app course that shows you how to get your hair super duper straight using the smoother brushes so that it stays this way. Okay guys, normally a few days into post hair wash, your hair tends to get quite greasy at the root and quite dry at the end. And if you're gonna go in with some heat, you want to make sure that your hair is well hydrated. So I'm actually going to use some Lee Stafford Coconut Moisture Mist, and this is just to hydrate your hair. Now it says to use this on tile dried hair, but I also use it on my dry hair and it's absolutely fine. And I'm just gonna literally spray some of it just through the middle ends to the ends, just to add a bit of hydration. Oh my goodness, that just smells, it smells like holiday. You know, just that amazing, beautiful holiday smell whenever you've been at the beach all day or the pool and you come up and you're all creamed up and moisturized and hair done and makeup done and nice outfit on and you just smell unreal. That is like, that's the smell. Okay, and now we're also gonna add a little bit of oil and I'm just gonna pour a little bit into my hand. I'm just gonna rub that into the palm of my hands and rub a little bit of it through my hair. Like I said, guys, we wanna make sure that we hydrate our hair before adding heat in it because we are a few days post hair wash and like I said, the ends are gonna be dry. They're gonna be more susceptible to breaking and we don't want that. Also, it's just gonna help it style a little bit better if we've got moisture in it. Now, the next product that we are gonna add is some dry shampoo. We are going to spray some of this at the roots. So, just do it quite roughly. You don't have to think too much into it. Around like the hairline here is what normally gets quite greasy. And then I'm gonna spray some at the crown of my hair, a little bit underneath. And this will also help add a little bit of volume to your hair. And I'm just gonna like rub that in. And what's great about this one is whenever you give it a good shake, it never comes out white. Whereas I feel like the Baptiste one, sometimes no matter how well you shake it, it still comes out kind of white in your hair, which I absolutely hate and brush that through. Now, I know that a lot of people spray the dry shampoo after they style. In this case, we are spraying it before you style. Now we are going to section our hair to get ready to use the Dyson Air app. Okay, now I'm just gonna add some heat defense. Again, really important, especially at this stage. And I'm actually gonna use the heat defense to add a little bit of moisture in my hair because you know the way your hair wants to be a little bit wet whenever you're using the Dyson Air app. So it kind of like doubles up as protecting your hair but also dampens it slightly. Okay guys, the smoothing brush is the first step to the styling. So, 
High heat, high speed, let's go. There we go, the hair is all smoothed out. And of course, if you want to leave your hair straight, you can at this point. The only thing that I would advise if your hair is quite greasy, once you've styled, spray a little bit more dry shampoo at the roots. Personally guys, I'm not gonna keep it straight because I think that whenever your hair is starting to look a little bit greasy, one of the worst hairstyles you can have is straight hair because I just feel like it enhances it. Whereas if you add a bit of a wave or a bit of a curling, you know, it can look a little bit more tousled, a little bit more sexy. You can just get away with having it that little bit greasy and you don't notice it as much. Also I just want to point out that one of the benefits of smoothing out is whenever I'm going in at the roots and pulling it I'm kind of pulling a little bit of like the oil you know the greasiness oil like through my hair so it's kind of taking some of the grease away from the roots and kind of hiding it because it's pulling it through the hair and then it's also moisturizing your hair a little bit and um, so that is one of the benefits to doing that also personally I find your hair is so much easier to curl whenever you have smoothed it out okay now so we're just gonna section again and guys you don't want to take loads of sections like this hairstyle if I wasn't recording this it would probably take me no more than 10 minutes like 10 minutes max you want to do this roughly and honestly the rougher you do it the better it's gonna look this does not want to be a super neat perfect hairstyle so we're gonna give it a little bit of a brush and again brush in also it helps pull the oil through your hair, you know, once you get to the roots. So you're gonna remove your smoothing brush and you are going to add the curling barrels. And we are now just gonna roughly add some curls. So you wanna take quite big sections because again, this doesn't want to be perfect. And we're not wanting to get super tight curls here. Um, The desired finish is for this to look more like a big wave rather than like these really neat perfect curls. So you're going to hold it on a high heat to up to like 20 seconds and then you are going to finish with a cold shot. Okay, right, now I'm gonna split just a tad more dry shampoo in it. Rub that into the roots, because again, that's gonna help soak up some oil, but it's also gonna help add some volume. Now you're gonna tip your hair upside down, give it a good big shake. And guys, there we go, look at that. Like, would you know that I had not washed my hair in a week? Because I would never know. I would never ever know that. So guys, we are going to finish off by smoothing out this beautiful hairstyle. So, we are just gonna smooth just the roots till about midway down the hair, because we can see quite a bit of flyaways there. So, let's go. Okay guys, there we go. I'm sorry, but like, you just would not believe that I had not washed my hair in seven days. Like that just looks incredible. Love it. So there we go guys. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Like I said before, only like 98% of you are subscribed to my channel. So please, please, if you wanna support this channel and keep seeing my Dyson Air App videos, hit subscribe. That is a great way to support this channel. And guys, if you love watching my Dyson Air App videos, I do have my Dyson Air App course that is now live. There is a link in the description if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.